Hello Taurus and welcome to your weekly reading for Monday to Sunday, including the powerful energy of Valentine's Day. What do you need to know? Well, I've pulled some cards already for you and I'm going to do some tarot. But the first thing I've got coming up is your own card here, the moon in Taurus. And the message is, now is the time for focusing on finances and practical matters. So you may find this week that you're focusing on career, you're focusing on work, you may be creating abundance in your life, or finding out a way to help money to flow in. But it's showing it's an abundant time. And the more you focus on richness and things flowing into your life, the better things will be. You've also got the owl card coming out here. So if you've seen owls this week, it's a sign of your wisdom, of going within, of finding out information. The card says a crisis will allow you to look into yourself and make an important revelation. So something may happen this week that will open your eyes a little bit and it will help you to have important realizations, clarity coming in understanding seeing the truth and you're realizing that support is all around you and the angels are saying to you you are supported you are blessed you are protected you've got all of heaven watching over you right now I allow my worries and woes to wash away with the tide. So any worries that come in this week, any things that test you or are making you a bit anxious, allow it to wash away. Allow it to be cleansed away. The angels are saying to you that you are supported and there's no need to worry. So I'm going to just pull you some tarot right now. What do we need to know for Taurus for this coming week, please, angels? What guidance have we got for Taurus for this coming week? Well, there's a couple of cards jumping out here. And first of all, again, we've got this one, which is you. You know, you're a Taurus, you're an earth sign, but it's showing financial stuff. You may have to defend yourself a little bit this week as well. You may be feeling a little bit trapped, but it's showing things are getting better. So this is a real sign, Taurus. If you're having any money worries or any concerns with money this week, or any situations where you feel trapped and you need to move forward, you have to defend yourself a little bit. And that will move things all forward and help you to see the truth. Obstacles are being removed. Now, I find it fascinating because I shuffled the cards from the True Love deck to see what's coming in. And they're the exact same cards we've just had for Aries. So, Taurus, if you're dealing with an Aries, if you've got a Love Ruse in Aries or it's your Twin Flame or a Soul Connection... This will make even more sense to you. But the same to you, forgiveness is the key this week. You know, forgive. Forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. Forgive other people, let go. Especially dealing with a soul connection, a soulmate or a twin flame. Forgiveness will help to move things forward and it will help you to find inner peace because when we don't forgive, we're holding on to a hot coal, it only burns us. We have to release, we have to let go. And this is all about worthiness, reflection, seeing the truth, knowing how powerful you are, that you are strong. And Valentine's Day always brings up feelings of worthiness, especially if we aren't with our person or we're wanting love and we're feeling alone we have to realize how worthy we are that we are worthy of love that we are worthy of everything and that will help us to find inner peace and it will help us to find forgiveness within ourselves in any situation and it will also open a doorway for a soulmate to come in so the angel saying, wash away any worries this week. Let it go because you were supported from heaven. And you know, you've got the owl of wisdom there. The doors just open. We've got the storm energy around. Doors are opening. So doors are opening for you this week. As long as you let go and trust in the power of the universe. As long as you realize that now is the time to focus on priorities, things that you are doing in your life, things you're manifesting, things you're creating, because you are powerful and strong. And like the owl, you'll gain wisdom through every situation you're going through. 
The angels are saying to you, it may have hurt you whatever you've been through. You may have been through struggles. You may have been stabbed in the back and knocked down. But you have to forgive. You have to move on from that energy. You have to trust that you are safe and supported. And forgive yourself for being feeling that way. And that's how you'll move things forward. That's how progress will be made. That's how there'll be forward motion. So if you're wanting things to change right now in your love life, in your career, let the past go. Let the feelings of hurt and disappointment and betrayal and all the way you've been knocked down go and replace it with faith. Move towards inner peace, forgive, let go. Move towards understanding and be who you really are. Because you were powerful like the Queen of Wands. You know, you were strong, you were dynamic, you were creative. You're very grounded. You make things happen. And in your love life, there may be passion around right now, fire. But there may also be a block there, creating a confusion. You may not be sure how to move your love life forward. Well, the angels want you to forgive, to release the past, to let go. And that will bring in new energy because fate and destiny is in your life right now, moving things forward for you, bringing in a new beginning and a new phase, a new cycle completion is coming in and this is showing you you know there's a person around you right now coming in for you someone who's very loyal and stable this could be a connection again with an Aries okay or a fire sign but I'm feeling a Taurus Aries connection here especially for the cards to come up so if you're watching and you're a Taurus and your person's an Aries or vice versa if you're cross cross watching forgiveness is the key to move your connection forward you know forgiveness working on your worthiness finding inner peace but this is showing as well the type of person that you want to attract into your life you want someone who's passionate and fiery like you but you also want someone very grounded someone loyal so work on you right now. Self-love is the key. Work on you, enjoying you, especially if you're single. You know, you've got that freedom energy around you right now. You can do what's right for you. Even if you're in pain because you're not with a person, there's some kind of separation going on. You are stronger than you think you are. The angels are showing you that now. You have all the tools inside you to succeed. And whatever delays are going on, they are necessary delays while things are working out for you to bring in commitment to bring in the relationship that you desire and if your person is married and it's bringing up pain this week it's showing you there's necessary delays around this work on you because decisions will come in and they're going to come in this year so you have to trust and have strength in who you are so this week make a decision to be true to you to forgive the past to let go to find inner peace to work on your worthiness and that will help you attract the right person in for you to work on your wisdom to know that support is all around you and to allow your worries to wash away and to work on any financial things that will lead to a change. So if any of you are thinking of making a house move, this is a great week to start putting plans into place, making changes. If you're wanting to, you know, create a separation, if you're in a relationship that's not serving you right now, it's a great week to make changes. The angels are saying, it's the perfect time for focusing on finances and practical matters, things that need to be sorted out. So try and sort your priorities out this week. Set some goals, some intentions and speak to heaven about what you want because the support is all around you. And if you're getting ready to make a fresh start, it's showing you you have all the support you need. So trust in that there's better things coming in. Money will improve, abundance, things are flowing in. Blessings are on the horizon for you. You just may have to stand up for yourself a little bit to move out of trapped energy and to be who you truly are. Grounded, patient and strong. And that will be given to you from heaven. Have a great week, a beautiful Valentine's Day and I'll see you soon.